Hey guys, Lightane here, and I'm going to be doing a movie review on a film that has over 24 personalities in it. Most of them played by one person. That's right, this is a review on M. Night Shyamalan's new film, Split. Split is the latest film from M. Night Shyamalan, the guy that made The Sixth Sense, Unbreakable, and The Village, amongst others. This stars James McAvoy in the titular role of Kevin, a man that through trauma has split into multiple personalities, each distinct and personal. A few of his personalities believe in a thing called the Beast and kidnap three girls to sacrifice to him, and therein lies the conflict of the film. James McAvoy is simply amazing. I think he deserves some kind of Oscar, some kind of uh, award for this performance. Even though the movie says that he has 24 personalities, we only get to see about six or seven of them at uh, in the film, but they are all distinct and they all have their own personality. It is incredible to see the range of James McAvoy from someone that is playing like an eight-year-old, so he's got a bit of a goofier face and a lisp, or playing a woman, or uh, playing another guy that has a different accent, or playing a gay fashionista, playing a girl. There is just so much range there. Not only that, but you can tell who he is being just from his mannerisms alone. That is such a phenomenal thing to see on screen. At one point in the film, uh, he comes out and he's not wearing a shirt and he's got a towel on top of him uh, and he changes from that personality to the one of the woman. And you can instantly see how the change occurs. Like you can see him straighten his back. You can, you can see his face change. And then without any words, he looks down and notices that uh, the towel isn't covering up his chest, so he pulls it over to be more modest because he's a woman. All of that is done without dialogue and you instantly know which personality he is right there and then. Because of that, James McAvoy just carries this entire movie and I cannot give him enough praise. If you don't even like Shyamalan films, if you don't like thriller or you know, that kind of film genre, this film will still captivate you with McAvoy's just acting prowess. Go and see it just for him. That being said, James McAvoy does such a great performance that the performance of the other characters uh, fails in comparison. Uh, the three girls that he kidnaps in order to sacrifice to the beast are so bland, so boring, and they are not acted very well. Two of the girls are just useless, like they all of their lines are just like tears and crying and they just don't do anything. They don't feel like they're even acting very well. And then it cuts back to James McAvoy with these like 12 different personalities on what the screen at one time. And it's just like, hey, this is what you're working with. Up your game. The main one of those three girls, uh, she is okay. I found her to be a little annoying uh, because she had the same one doughy eyed, um, scared facial expression throughout the entire film. She didn't have much range. I couldn't understand some of her motives, some of her dialogue, and some of the reasons why she pulled certain faces or, yeah. Uh, it's a pet peeve. Other people I saw it with thought that she was okay. I just thought she was weak, especially in comparison to James McAvoy. A few of the other side characters, like the psychiatrist, are okay, and even M. Night Shyamalan gets his, you know, brief cameo in there. He's all right. You know, everybody else is fine in the film. I just wish that those three main girls, or at least the main one, was a better actress, because then this movie would have been brought up. The story for this film is uh, pretty good. It's a high intense thriller uh, with a few little twists and turns throughout the film. There is the twist at the end, you know, which is the famous, you know, uh, M. Night Shyamalan What's a Twist, which I won't go on here because that's, you know, spoilers. The story is pretty good in this film. It is something that hasn't really been explored upon in very many films. I can think of the film Identity uh, as one that springs to mind about different personalities. But yeah, it's not a subject matter that is used very often, uh, which gives this film a unique quality and it makes it interesting uh, to watch throughout the whole thing. The thriller themes in this film are very intense with some borderline creepy moments and most of them fill you uh, like a little, with unease as you're watching this film. Even though the plot of this film was great to watch, there are a few plot points and holes that just annoyed me and they didn't go anywhere and they just fell through. One of which was uh, right near the start where the three girls decide, hey, we've just been kidnapped, why don't we team up, work together, and like kick the guy in the throat and try and escape while he's, you know, down. Because they're like, oh, if all three of us work together, we can probably overpower one single man. And they don't do it for no reason. They're just like, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. And they cut to the main girl and she's like, doesn't even say no, just like, no. Nah just like gives a scared look like I'm gonna do it and they're like oh we have to all do it together you know because power of three and stuff no she just 
doesn't do it. She's like, no, I think there's a better way. I thought that was a pretty good idea. There's a few instances in the film where those things come up and they don't even give a real good reason as to why they should or should not do it. It's just convenience for the plot. Then the girls get separated a little bit so they can't do these uh, things as they work together. And literally the girls just sit there for the remainder of the movie. Like they don't do anything. It cuts back to them days later and literally the first girl to get separated is just laying on the floor doing nothing. For days. I don't get it. Why didn't she get up? Why didn't she try and look around the room or try and figure her way out? Days later she goes, hey, maybe we should try and get out of here again. Why not try and get out of there straight away? It was just so ridiculously stupid and it was something that just took me out of that film and made me go, wow, that's some bad writing. They just forgot about these characters, hoped that you forget about these characters as well because they wanted to continue the plot of James McAvoy and the main girl. And it was just a woeful, woeful thing to see. Even though I have some complaints about this film, I still give it a 7 out of 10. And that is mostly due to James McAvoy and his amazing portrayal as Kevin and the other personalities within him. The movie was well paced and fun to watch, with a few plot points that didn't go anywhere and the characters being a little bit annoying. Um, if they had been changed and fixed up just a little bit, this movie would have easily gotten a better score. Um, but yeah, so tell me what you guys thought and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!